it's Friday, June 30th, and it must be time for the last legislative update of this session. That's right, it's not July, it's still June 30th, and they've gone home. We finished this morning at 2.15 a.m. All is well, everybody's heading for the hills, and we have managed to avoid a lot of big stumbling blocks. I know that this year was troubling for you at times, it was chaotic at times, there were lots and lots of different issues, and I just want to say thank you. Uh, you really came through. Uh, you helped us through your emails, through your visits with your legislators back home, through your phone calls, through your visits to White Coat Wednesday. You helped us avoid a whole host of big problems this year. We avoided major rate cuts in Medicaid. We avoided major changes to the Medicaid system. We avoided balance billing problems that would have really set back how you're in engaging with your patients right now. Would have changed the entire way that you negotiated insurance contracts. We have avoided major scope of practice changes that would have disrupted not only how you practice, but would have jeopardized, in some cases, the care that you promised to your patients um, right now, to their, their safety. Uh, but all, in addition to that, we've also taken head on one of the biggest problems in the nation, opioid overprescribing. And we passed a bill working collaboratively with lots and lots of different groups to make sure that we are changing behavior, changing the practice of how we manage pain. And I cannot thank you enough for all that you've gone through with that. I know that has been uh, disruptive to your lives. I know that is being a challenge, going to continue to be a challenge for you. Uh, but you guys have really stepped up and you've helped us do something that is great for your patients and is great for the citizens of North Carolina. Uh, that bill was actually signed by Governor Cooper yesterday into law. So that one is truly done. Um, but even though session is completed, uh, we would normally now be looking to a long grassroots development time, uh, not looking to them for them to come back until sometime around next April or May as after primaries are done. Uh, but instead, we're going to be coming back multiple times. Uh, August 3rd, we're going to be back. September 6th, we're going to be back. Sometime before November 15th, we're going to be back. And then we're going to be back May the 16th of next year for the short session. So every one of those dates, while they are focused on veto overrides or elections or some other major topic, every single one of those dates allows unfinished business, bills that are in conference, bills that have been proposed and passed from one chamber but not yet completed another are still alive and well. So many of our major priorities from this session will be alive and well for every single one of these regular sessions or special sessions that are coming up before we get to, this, to the short session in May of 2018. So we're going to have to be continually vigilant over the next few months. We're going to be working closely with you to figure out how to engage our grassroots in shorter segments to be prepared for these times that we're coming back here in Raleigh. Um, but for now, we get to take a little break and enjoy a holiday. So look to our uh, online blog for a little summary of major highlights and for all the details on all the bills that we've been tracking. Sue Ann's done a great job of keeping that up to date for you on a regular basis so you can see the entire legislative history right there under each blog post. So keep, uh, look there to keep up on the, the top priorities that you're concerned about. We'll be uh, highlighting for you over the next few weeks what you can do to make sure that those priorities that you're most concerned about are um, ready or you, you have the tools to inform your legislators so they're ready, really, when we come back for these short sessions coming up. And again, just thank you. Thank you to all of you individually. Thank you to your specialties that have been engaged with us on a weekly basis in the lobbying effort here in Raleigh. And we look forward to updating you in the future on what's going on uh, legislatively with your profession. Have a great one. Happy holiday.